Those robo-brains explain how one person could maintain this facility alone. An impressive modification. Going down. Control center. Going up. Security screening room three. Entirely. Advised, you are being watched. That is not acceptable. Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't Your sister mean... is missing, and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not... Mother, Edward has better things...
things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. I insist you send someone to find Imogene. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. And Jack, how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? I can't bear to think what might be happening to Imogene right now. She's a grown woman. She's perfectly capable of looking after herself. I can't believe you don't care what happens to your sister. We've been over this, Mother. Imogene is out there somewhere, maybe even lying dead in a ditch, and you don't even care. I'm not Imogene's babysitter. If she chooses to go off without telling anyone, that's her business. I don't think you're even listening to me, Jack. If she wanted us to know where she went, she would have told someone. If your father were here, he'd send someone to find Imogene. Mother, will you let it go, please? I don't think you're even listening to me, Jack. Mother, will you let it go, please? So did you find out what happened to the courier? If your father were here, he'd send someone to find Some him. raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? I can't believe you... There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next. Oh, hell, I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. I don't think you're even listening to me, Jack. I'm not Imogene's babysitter. If she chooses to- Jack. I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> you shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Imogene is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Do you know where she's gone? No, but it shouldn't be too hard to find out. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. At the jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. What if she doesn't want to come home? Obviously, as one of the family, you can't just knock her in the head and drag her home by her heels. Usually, by the time I send someone after her, she's gotten bored with the whole thing and is ready to come home. I'm sure you'll think of something. You're supposed to be resourceful, remember? Why does Emma Jane do this to me? Excuse me. Yes? I've got to get going. All right. I can't believe how callous Jack can be about his sister. Hey. What you got? Hey. I take requ You look like you could use this. Your thoughts? If someone needs help, we help them. If someone needs hurting, we heard him. It's not hard. Oh, nothing. Fine by me.
Charlie serves the drinks. I deal with the drunks. Yeah? What, you need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen, Hotel Rexford. He'll hook you up. Paying customers only. Yo, do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word. Hey, Hancock. Been a long time. You again. You're back for it's my lucky day. Tour of the town. What do you need? Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Emma Jean? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? I just need to talk to her. Hmm. Why are you looking for her, honey? Her family's worried that something's happened to her. Well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Do you know where she's gone? There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam! Would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Mmm, Brother Thomas. Yes. That's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Hancock? Citizen? Becoming quite a regular. Well, the beer still tastes the same. Like shit. Smell that? That's freedom. Looks like we got another freak, just won't fit anywhere else. What'll it be? Huh? Sweet pit boy, brother. You hold on to that.
Huh? Don't have no handouts. Hey. I Toss out the troublemakers. We keep that in mind. Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never lacks for excitement. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Taking up with Little Miss Reporter, huh? I'm jealous. I can't tell if that's a compliment or a pickup line or both, so I think we're just gonna go. Lovely night. Can we turn down the wattage on that thing? about how to join our movement. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. I'm looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Please. Have a heart. Look, the truth is, we had a little, uh, disagreement about her joining the movement. She got kind of violent. So I locked her in there until I could figure out what to do with her. If you're willing to take her off my hands, let me unlock the door for you, and then she's all yours. Uh, I've got to warn you. She's way stronger than she looks. It took all of us combined to even get her locked up in there. All yours, neighbor. Hi. Hello, neighbor.
You must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. You're Jack's sister. I was expecting someone a bit... younger. You really know how to flatter a lady, don't you? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society, back when there was any. What happens if you don't get more serum? Oh, I don't think we need to worry about that. I've gone without a treatment much longer before with no lasting effect. Actually, there's only one vial of the serum left. Raider's got the rest. I'd better get home before Mother convinces Jack that she needs all of it. That he could still be such a mama's boy at his age is ridiculous. I'm so disappointed in Thomas. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Need anything before we go? No. I didn't bring anything worth taking with me. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Feel like I need to take my shoes off in here. You looking to get us in trouble? Excuse me. I'll never hear the end of this for Mother. Hey. We don't have anything to talk about. Excuse me. We are always looking for new members.
Someone there? If we're gonna dance, <laughs> let's dance. Kill us all! Gotta come out sooner or later! Hey. What you got for me? Hey, Piper. Hey, here. Something to keep you sharp. Always worked for me. I was just wondering where you and I stand. I'm with the person I love. Helping those in need. I couldn't imagine a better life. Nothing else for now. All right. Enjoy your stay. Hey. I can find my own way home. Thanks. Edward! 
Edward! Ah! There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. I found Emma Jean. She's fine. Oh, yes, good. Thank God. At least one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here, I hope that's the right amount. Now, we really need to focus on the current emergency. How can you be so callous about your sister's safety? I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What exactly does this serum do? I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. My family and I are all over 400 years old. But it also confers other side effects, especially in the undiluted form that the Raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. So at least some of these Raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with. Where do you get this serum from? As you probably guessed, my father is the source of the serum. Jack, are you sure it's wise telling him all this? In the course of my attempts to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced anomalies into his blood. So the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives. The irony isn't lost on me, but if he were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid, homicidally violent, and endowed with extraordinary abilities. Exactly what abilities does he have? Uh, enhanced strength, unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. Oh, and a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. That's why I've built a dampening field into his cell. Which is why we really need to stop these intruders before they turn it off. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Why is that so important? If these intruders have gotten past Edward's men, they may have freed Lorenzo. I'm the only one who understands exactly how to deal with him. Is that clear enough for you? Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. Let's go. Just to be clear, under no circumstances can we allow Lorenzo to be freed from Parsons. I would have lost my father forever. I refuse to let that happen after spending so long trying to cure him.
Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves, but not good enough, sadly. We need to get to my office. From there, we can see how bad things really are. Okay, stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. Parsons. My god. The things I'll do for a headline. Damn. The door's blocked on the other side somehow. We'll have to find a way around. Get ready. Being where that new juice is coming from? Hell yeah, it's gonna be worth it. How'd you get any of it anyway? Lefty doesn't even like you. I cashed in some favors with people who Lefty does like. You just saw because you never got a taste. You better be right. And Lefty better share it out there. Or what do you assholes keep. If we're gonna dance, let's dance. Edward, how badly are you hurt? I'm not dead yet, but I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I... I sent the elevator down to the basement like you wanted and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. <sighs> Haven't seen anybody for quite a while, I think. It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Yes. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Got it. Let's go.
Just follow my instructions, and everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack. What on earth could someone you think too. deserve this? You okay? I just need to rest here a minute. There.
Excuse me. If they manage to free Lorenzo before I can stop them, it's not worth thinking about. We never used this wing. Nobody's been in here for decades. There's no telling what we'll run into. <laughs> 